Good evening and welcome to the 2014 ESPY Awards. Make some noise for yourself one time, please. <laughs> Woo! I'm excited to be here, man. So many athletes in the house, so many people that I respect, so many of you that I admire, so many people that I would trade my life to be. I love all of you until you start losing, then you're dead to me, okay? <laughs> I stick with the champions, that's what I do. It's been a huge year in sports. I mean, just this week we found out that my brother, my friend, a guy that I grew up with, LeBron James is going back home to Cleveland. Yes. Two years, $40 million. Now look, some people are happy about it, some people aren't happy. Me personally, I think it makes sense financially. I mean, you, you know what $40 million gets you in Miami? A really nice house. You know, what, you know what $40 million gets you in Cleveland? <laughs> Cleveland. <laughs> all of it, you get the whole thing. Now we all know Miami fans are obviously devastated, so I think it's only right that we, we cut to Miami and see how they're, how they're dealing with it. That's true heartbreak right there. That's a party town, they don't stop, baby, you know? You know what, though? I, I think LeBron, deep down, going back to Cleveland has all of you excited. I think everybody's excited. Maybe everybody except for Johnny Manziel. Because it seems like in one day, Johnny Manziel went from the biggest thing in Cleveland to a guy who lives in Cleveland. <laughs> but you know, I love me some Johnny football, baby, I do. It's just, I mean, I worry about him sometimes. For example, like right before I came out here, I got a text from him asking if I wanted to do mushrooms and watch the ESPYs together tonight. <laughs> Johnny, I hope you understand this is, this is why I couldn't come. Um, but I'm sure this looks amazing to you right now. <laughs> LeBron's decision, LeBron's decision is tough for Dwayne Wade too. I think the only person that's had a rougher summer than Dwayne Wade is his beautiful fiance, Gabrielle Union, who had to pretend to play Turtle's girlfriend and think like a man too. That is a tough, <laughs> that's a tough role. That takes some Leo DiCaprio acting skills right there to pull that off. Give it up for the San Antonio Spurs in here tonight, the NBA champions. That was one of the most dominating displays in NBA history. And I'm here to celebrate the Spurs all stayed up past 10 p.m. and shared a beer. <laughs> Just one. We've got some LA Kings in the house tonight. The King, yeah, make some noise. What? What? It's that LA pride right there. The Kings won their second Stanley Cup in three years right here in downtown LA. You can make some more noise if you're proud. In fact, in fact, we're just a couple hundred yards from Staples Center, which also happens to be as close as Donald Sterling is allowed to get. <laughs> Billions of people tuned in to watch the World Cup. This, yeah, man. This year, it was in Brazil, the plastic surgery capital of the world, which is great because after the way Brazil played, there are 11 guys that need to look way different as soon as possible. <laughs> yes. Amazing World Cup performance by the U.S. men's national team. Give a patriotic American <laughs> round of applause. Tim Howard couldn't be here tonight. He's too busy getting laid by any woman that he chooses. <laughs> I caution you, Tim, it only takes one to get through. Ah. <laughs> he knows. Congratulations to the Seattle Seahawks who won the Super Bowl this year. I'll tell you, I've been to Seattle. Their fans are incredible. If CenturyLink Field was any louder, Russell Westbrook would be wearing it. <laughs> it's true. 
You've had some terrible outfits in your life. I'm gonna be but back to the Seahawks, though. Russell Wilson, you're incredible. I've told you that in person. You are incredible. Malcolm Smith, MVP. You know, tonight, a man told me that Richard Sherman is the best defensive player that he has ever seen. And that man's name was Richard Sherman. <laughs> Richie, you're a cocky son of a bee, Richie. I'll tell you that much. No, I love Richard Sherman, man. Sherman's my guy. Like, he's, he's so entertaining. You know, Richard Sherman pissed off more white people this year than a crowded parking lot at Whole Foods. <laughs> you know they hate when they can't get their almond milk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now look, some rough words in football this year. Riley Cooper said some things. Richie Incognito said some things. I just want to stress that there's no room for racism in the NFL unless you own a team in Washington, D.C. Then it's a go. <laughs> Ooh, Lee. Got a little weird there. <laughs> this, um, this next piece is probably the, the toughest thing for me to address. If you know anything about me, uh, you know that I bleed blue, sun up to sundown. I'm a Kentucky Wildcat. John Wall, I, I know you're here. D. Cuz, I know you're here. Coach Cal, one of the best men I've ever met in my life, came to my high school graduation. Make some noise for him. I love you with all my heart. But I'm an honorable man, so I want to congratulate the Yukon Huskies for winning the men's and women's NCAA basketball championship. That's right. I just want to say, as, as a fellow young person, it's important that you know that you will always have those memories forever. Well, technically, the NCAA owns the memories. <laughs> but, but at least you got the meal plan, right? I hear that's the best prison food in Connecticut. Um, oh, Shabazz, where's Shabazz? Always shooting from so far away. Shabazz. Oh, that's what I do when I'm at home. I'm like, Shabazz, I'm just kidding. I get upset. A lot of good looking people here tonight, by the way. It's great looking people. It's a great room. Make some noise for yourself. <laughs> by the way, sorry, I'm, not, I'm probably not supposed to laugh. Did you, guys see the, uh, did you guys see the new ESPN body issue with Prince Fielder on the cover? Do we have it? Can we pull it up? <laughs> Rick Ross, do you see what you've started here? I mean, <laughs> Prince, I hear that you're vegan. Did you start yesterday, or? <laughs> I'll tell you, so many incredible moments in sports this year, but my all-time favorite, maybe not, maybe not just of this year, but of all time, happened during this year's NBA Eastern Conference Finals. Let's run the tape. Listen, listen, that's one of the greatest things that you're ever gonna see in your entire life, okay? Now Lance, first of all, congratulations on being a Charlotte Hornet. Please make some noise for this man right here. Now, I know a lot of people thought you were clowning and joking around, but I know the truth. Yeah, you can laugh if you want to, it's okay. You only blow in the ear of somebody that you truly and deeply respect. And I promised myself and one other person that I would do this if I got the chance. So ESPYs, for the first time ever, can you please fire up the Lance Cam for me, please? Are we ready? <laughs> oh. Tilt your face up. So good. That's respect. That's how you show respect. I respect so many. We gotta have time to do. Can I do this to somebody else? Is there anyone else? Do we have time? Can I run it? Please give me somebody. Anybody? Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Sorry, miss. I'm sorry. You guys just gotta get up for a second. That's a great gold purse. Excuse me. What's up, PG? 
You know, I've been to a lot of your games. I respect you a lot, you know what I'm saying? I think I respect you. I, I mean, I, I have more respect for you, for you than a lot of people. It's, it's, you deserve something special. Lance Swagson, can you come here for a second, please? Lance has on blue diamond shoes tonight. Can you just kneel down? This is, this is, yeah. This is, this is what we call the double Lance cam. You ready? I'm ready, you ready? That's respect. That's respect.